Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Layla, and in today's video, I'm gonna be giving a review on Marcus by Goldman Sachs, specifically their high yield savings account. This video will be pretty straight to the point, but if I leave anything out or if you have any questions, feel free to comment those down below and I will answer those. I have been using Marcus by Goldman Sachs, the high yield savings account since, I think since November of 2019. And I really enjoy using this account. I figured it was time to finally make a full video dedicated to Marcus by Goldman Sachs. This is not sponsored. I'm not being paid to, to talk about them whatsoever but um, I'm gonna go through a little bit about them, the pros, the cons, and, and that's it. I think at the time when I was looking for a high yield savings account, I was just looking for the one with the highest rate. So when I first signed up with Marcus, I think it was like 2.85%. That was back in 2019 before the pandemic and things were fairly high, you know, for a high yield savings account. I think that's why I initially went with it. I knew going into it because I was in the market for a high yield savings account. I was searching around and I knew that I wanted something with no fees. I of course want it to be FDIC insured and to have the option to have multiple savings account in one account, which I'll explain in just a bit. But that's typically the general rule. Like when, I, when I'm working with clients of mine, if they're, you know, I always will recommend Marcus or tell them that that's what I use, but I give other options because there are many high yield savings accounts out there that are great and trustworthy and they have the same, the same aspects to them. So if you're looking for a high yield savings account, even if you don't go with Marcus, be sure that it follows those, or at least make sure there's no fees and that it's FDIC insured. So the bulk of them are, and you should be okay, but Marcus definitely checks those boxes. But yeah, ultimately I did end up choosing Marcus. I think at the time because of that, the, of the higher interest rate, it was higher than the other accounts that I was seeing. But I'm glad I made that decision because I have no regrets to this point. I have earned quite a bit of interest from having the savings account and it's pretty incredible. There used to be a limit on withdrawals, the number of withdrawals per month on each of your accounts with Marcus, but now that is no longer the case. I honestly don't know when that change happened, but in the past you could only do six withdrawals from your account per month, and now that's out the window. You can do as many deposits, as many withdrawals as you need to. I never, even before when that was a limit, I never ran into an issue because I didn't need to pull from it multiple times in the month. Y'all know that when I'm saving for my student loans, which I am currently when I'm filming this, November 2022, for the past year, I've been saving in my high yield savings account for my student loans and I do multiple transfers in the month and there's been no issue with that. As for the pros with Marcus by Goldman Sachs, the first one is the higher APY. Now, again, there are many options out there for you to choose from for a high yield savings account. Marcus is a competitive rate, but many of them are around the same amount. But what I mean by this being a pro is that Marcus has a much higher rate than a traditional bank account. You know, I, I do have a checking account. I have multiple checking accounts to be honest, but my main one is with Bank of America, I've been with them since I was like 16 years old, but their APY is like 0 0.0, I don't even know, 0 0.01, probably 0 0.02, it's nothing. Like you don't earn anything on the money that you have. I actually had a savings account with Bank of America and I ended up getting rid of that. I got rid of it several years ago because they kept charging me fees. There were all these, you know, I had to have a minimum in there. I wasn't gaining any money on the money I had saved. So I deleted it and just kept the checking account. The interest that you're going to gain from a high yield savings account, any of them is never going to be insane. Like in my opinion, this is not an alternative for investing. It's just a great place to park your money and gain some money on that money. So the more money you have and the less that you pull from those savings accounts, then the more interest you can gain. I did go ahead and add up everything that I earned just this year so far. So from January 22 through October 2022, how much I've gained in interest through Marcus by Goldman Sachs, and it was over $333 so far. Uh, I did also get a bonus. So last year in 2021, if you watch my videos, you may remember that I was using a different savings account for my student loans specifically because I was taking advantage of a promo with that account. And conveniently at the time of that promo ending, Marcus had a promo where if you deposited $10,000, you get an additional $100, it's like a $100 bonus. So I took advantage of that and I did get an additional $100. So 
in total from Marcus this year, from January through October, I've gained $433, which is pretty solid. And you may be wondering how much money I've had in those accounts throughout this time. And the way that I use my high yield savings account is for my sinking funds. So I am constantly putting money in. I put money into them each month, but also I'm frequently pulling from them. So the, the amount would fluctuate and therefore the amount of interest that I would gain is not on a set amount. But I started January with a little over $8,000 in my Marcus by Goldman Sachs account and ended October with over $32,000. So um, back in January, I gained about $6 in interest from Marcus. And now with this balance, it is over $74. So yes, of course, the more money that you have saved, the more interest you are going to gain on that money. And then that is going to stay in there. If, if you choose to let it stay in there, it will compound on itself. But even if you have a smaller amount, let's say you have an emergency fund of $2,000, $3,000 in Marcus or any high yield savings account, you are not going to gain hundreds of dollars in interest. But if you were to have that money in just a regular bank account, you basically would earn nothing on that money. So you might as well keep it in a high yield savings account and get a little bit of interest on that. The reason that online banks are able to do this is exactly because of that. They are online banks. So instead of having a place for them in, you know, like if you drive around, you will see a Bank of America, you will see a Wells Fargo, you will see all of these other banks and that costs them money. So to have a location costs money, to have those employees, it costs money. But online savings accounts cut that out. So they don't need as much money to operate. And of course they do have customer service. So you have somebody you can get in contact with, you can, you can reach support, but they have much lower operating costs and then therefore we benefit and can gain more money on our savings. At the time of me filming this, so it's November, 2022, the current interest rate is 3%, 3% APY. However, I also have a referral link that's always linked down below and you can get an extra 1% for three months. So that's 4%. And if you have friends or family that don't have a high yield savings account yet and you are you know, open to sharing something or recommending something, you can also refer people and get the extra 1% for three, three additional months if you refer people. So that's open to you as well. I have that link down below. And so you'll get 4% for three months as of right now. Of course, the interest rate may go up or it could go down. So throughout the pandemic, the interest rate did go down. That's That was standard across all high yield savings accounts. So as I said, when I opened it, it was close to 3%. And then the lowest it went was 0.5%. And it hovered around that for over a year, I think. So it is going to fluctuate. It just depends on the state of the economy. The next pro with Marcus by Goldman Sachs is that you can have multiple savings buckets under one umbrella. Again, most online banks have this feature, but it is something that is so important to me. And I find that the way that Marcus by Goldman Sachs does it is very easy to use and very organized. So if you log on to your account, you are going to see at the top your total balance and then beneath that you are going to see all of your accounts and they're just like listed out and you can see the balance in each of them they're all at the same interest rate so even if you have 10 12 15 different accounts then they're all still earning the same apy you can also name these accounts so i specifically put on each of them a little title of what i'm saving for so for my student loans travel gifts all the sinking funds that i have i name them and I really love that it's under one account and I can see it all under one login. They do all have different account numbers. So if you want to set up automatic transfers to one account and also set up automatic transfers to another account, those have two separate account numbers and you have to pay attention to that because obviously it's gonna be going to different savings, but all in all, it's under the same umbrella. Now, I'm not sure how many accounts you can have. When I first started, you could have up to 10 accounts, but I definitely have over 10 now, and I've been able to open another. I'm not sure if that's changed, or once you've been a customer for some time, you can add more, but I haven't run into an issue. Plus 10 is plenty. Like I find that I kind of, recycle the accounts that I have, rename them something else and move on to my next savings goal. And it works fine for me. As of right now, I do have 11 total accounts 
and I can add more. It gives me the option to add more, but 11 has been fine for quite some time. Pro number three is that I find the transfers to be pretty quick. It will say that the transfers are going to take, you know, one to three business days, but there have been times where I've like, I don't know, if I woke up early in the morning and I made a transfer, a large transfer even, like $500 plus to my main checking account, I got that money the same day. Um, and that's obviously not a guarantee, but if you do the transfer early enough, it should come within that same day or at least by the next day. Uh, I've never had an issue where it's taken, you know, days and days or anything of that sort. It has never been a problem for me. Of course, in general, I just try my best to make sure my checking account is, is set and I, I don't, you know, absolutely need money within the day, but it has happened before. Y'all know that several months ago, I accidentally overdraft my account and I, that was when it happened. So that, that morning I was like, oh my goodness, let me pull from my emergency fund and I made the transfer and I got that money that same day and it saved me from uh, a fee with my checking account with Bank of America. So yeah. Now as for the cons with Marcus by Goldman Sachs, my first problem that I have is I don't like their app. Now I am an Android gal. I have an Android. I've always had an Android, <laughs> sorry. Um, that's just what I prefer. So I don't know if that's the reason, but I find that the mobile app is not great. It does not tend to work for me or there's, yeah, it just will like close spontaneously. And I think that's, I, I honestly haven't even tried in probably the past year. I haven't tried to go onto the actual app itself because I just had a bad experience with it. And I just go to Google, type in Marcus and it pops up. And then I go to the actual website on my phone. The other con kind of going along with that, I feel like the website too has, I feel like the website is a little bit slow. Like if I'm trying to make a transfer, it seems to take a long time. It has several screens for you to go through, which makes sense. Like you have to tell them where the money's coming from, put all the information, the amount that you need, and then they prompt you so that you confirm that transfer. But I feel like sometimes that, that loading time takes kind of long. Uh, I'm not sure why that is. I'm not sure if that's because I have multiple accounts or if that's just a market's problem. To me, it's not like a deal breaker whatsoever. I think the thing is that we have gotten so used to things being super quick. <laughs> so anytime that I have to wait, it's just like something I notice because I'm so used to things going really, really fast. And that may just be a me problem again, or it may just be um, an Android thing, I have no clue, but let me know if y'all experience that with Marcus. I feel like that's the only issue. It can sometimes be a little slow, but no problem with, um, that doesn't mean like the transfers are slow or that like there's any problem. It's not a deal breaker whatsoever for me. Overall, I obviously recommend Marcus by Goldman Sachs and I just wanted to make this video because I have been using Marcus for quite some time now and haven't put out a review video for it. So. Let me know if you have any questions. Please feel free to share if you use Marcus and what you think of it. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in my next video.